Life 101, Part 7. In order to break the cycle of misinformed beliefs and allow the creation of a different you, changes have to be made. The previously mentioned points are excellent places to start. You got influenced into living in a way that removes you from your true nature of perfection and puts you out of harmony with the energy that created you. Anything or anyone who has given you the impression that you were less than perfect was wrong. Absolutely wrong. That includes your opinion of yourself. The amount of joy, well-being, and wealth in your daily life is directly proportioned to how far you are from your true nature. And this is due to your beliefs. Everything you have ever wanted is waiting for you to believe it and have it. It waits on the other side of the door you have kept closed and locked. The key that unlocks this door is your beliefs. You are a creative being, creating in confusion and receiving the fruits of your thoughts and words and actions in a form of perception you call reality. Most every important aspect of your human ability is non-physical, and from this non-physical dimension you create your physical life. You are a physical being that creates. You are a creator that uses both physical and non-physical abilities to tickle the fabric of the universe to provide you with any reality you choose. You're the only one who has any say at all because it's your personal energy that is sent out for attraction. It's you that must deliberately choose what you want. You are the only one who can successfully teach yourself about who you are, but first you must want to learn. You must ask for what you want because you're the only one who can. Ask often with sincerity and enthusiasm and believe it will happen. While you're waiting, try to find a feeling place that allows you to feel as if your creation has already arrived. Remember, doubt or worry about what you've asked for will effectively cancel your request. Believing it's on its way to you keeps it alive. Thinking and dreaming about it keeps it alive, and conversely, thinking you don't deserve it will effectively cancel it. Every waking hour of every day, you are transmitting energy that is preparing your future days, and because you are not paying attention and correlating what happens in your life to what your recent thoughts and energy were focused upon, you fail to see it's you that is responsible for every minute detail of your life, good or bad. 100% of your life and the perceptions it contains are the result of your past energy stimulating the law of attraction and the law of allowing. Your life is the sum of your thoughts and words and actions, as well as the influences you adopted as your own which in turn have formed your beliefs. You created your life, and like it or not, you have to take responsibility for the energy you radiate. No one else can radiate for you. It's all you. Had your true nature been nurtured as you grew, you would clearly understand these concepts and conduct your thoughts and words and actions accordingly. Instead of creating from your natural state of perfection, you ended up creating what you started out with, some low self-esteem, low expectations, guilt, anxiety, stress and fear, mixed with love and forgiveness and understanding and compassion, into a swirling mass of confusing and conflicting beliefs that probably still represent a lot of your current reality. You can change anything that displeases you by focusing on what you want instead of on how it is.
The energy that created you allows you to shape it in any way you choose. If you are not joyous, then you have made choices that have taken you out of harmony with your joy, as well as out of harmony with your Creator. You may make new choices if you wish to be in better harmony with yourself and your Creator. You can listen to your spirit and know that your emotions are divine advice. Any changes made towards harmony will lead you closer to joy. Here are a few more things to think about. Nothing changes without actively releasing energy. Wisdom is valuable only if you use it. Intellectual searching yields intellectual finding but yields very little change. You must incorporate what you learn into your daily life. God is the initiator. The universe of consciousness is the provider. You are a creator. Your life and its current state of affairs is a direct reflection of all you have offered in the past. This moment, along with every future moment, is your window of opportunity for changing what you want to offer to yourself as your new future. When the offer is made, enjoy every moment along the way, knowing your future is being assembled as you requested it, and will soon arrive. That, ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, friends and relatives, mortals and spirits, is life in a nutshell. This is Jack Kreitzer wishing you all the blessings you deserve. If you would like a typed transcript of this lecture, please feel free to contact me.